A Virgin Islands Fish and Food Conference was held here for the first time on Friday, March 1st at the Purcell Estate Community Center. The conference is part of a strategy to stimulate the fishing industry by providing a forum for the sharing of information, ideas and opportunities in improving networking and further awareness among the major players in the fishing industry. Sean Rose has this report. The government is moving ahead with plans to establish the fishing industry as the third economic pillar here in the territory with the start of this first fishermen's conference here today. Let's hear from some of the fisher folk themselves what are some of the expectations coming out of this conference. It's so only supposed to have like 300 fish packs and a lot of people have like more. What I expect to take place today is that the minister or the people in charge of the Conservation and Fisheries Department would tell us that maybe in the near future, government and private enterprise would go into a partnership arrangement whereby the fishing complex um, would be managed by the government, but shares would be sold to the fishermen first and then the general public. I think this would be a very um, good arrangement instead of the current arrangement. Something we as fishermen can get out this meeting to um, instead of having like um, just fishermen just um, fishing traps itself, it would be um, nice for the government to have some input in diverting some of the other fishermen into doing other fishing besides trap fishing. Right now, trap fishing for me or to me, I do trap fishing, and to me. It destroy more of the, the species of the fish than any other because I, I may set maybe a hundred trap and I lost maybe 50 that's a ghost trap I expect in, I expect a lot of things from this conference that um, whoever taking part of it could be more cautious with the fishermen help them in getting supply whatever they need in a low cost like like gas or even maintain to the boat. Looking to get um, a lot of information and look at the incentives available to fishermen and um, the techniques, new techniques if available. And the reason why I'm here today for is to let all those who are hauling my traps, especially one who in front of me now, know that I'm seeing him over and over hauling my traps and I want him to stop. Well, is that me because I'm in front of you right now? Not you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing about it, sis. I don't name you. Okay, so um, people interfering or stealing other, other straps is a problem? They're going with them and they want to leave them turn on hauling them. So how do you think we can address that? That's a very good question. That's what I'm here to find out. According to Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources and Labor, Ronald Berkeley, an impromptu meeting by Premier Dr. Smith had delayed the subject minister and the Deputy Premier Dr. Pickering from attending the opening ceremony. We, we, we want to hear from you uh, what your thoughts are, um, what you think should happen, um, and obviously those things will be taken under advisement and, and, and fit in as best uh, as we can. Uh, this being uh, the very first um, fisherman conference, you know, it's, the, the plan is that this will be a yearly, uh, a yearly um, conference, and um, uh, we 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 expecting you to give us as much information as 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 you uh, in in terms of how you think we should move forward. Kelvin Penn, chief conservation and fisheries officer, in his remarks expressed concerns and offered ways to control the use of fish pots to help protect and preserve the fish stock here in the BVI. We have had previous um, meetings with the fishermen and how we could address the whole fish pot issues and we have been seeking ways to control them by having the number of fish pots limited per fish per person. Also too, we will try to have the fish pots marked with buoys, and all fish pots must have in biodegradable panels. Penn also encouraged the fisher folk to get into pelagic fishing to increase the annual tonnage.
clearly have to target not only the reef fish, but the open water and migratory fish like the tuna, wahoo, and dolphin, which are known together as a group under the name pelagic fish. It is, would also be necessary to catch more lobsters. It will have to be much more than the current estimated five to 10 tons of tuna and wahoo that we now catch per year in the BVI. Our aim might be to catch 100 tons of yellowfin tuna and 100 tons of wahoo, as fishermen did in Bermuda for the year 2011. Some of the fishermen have already expressed optimism about plans to pay immediately fishermen who turn in their catch at the BVI fishing complex. Prior to the conference, Deputy Premier and Minister for Natural Resources and Labour, Dr. Kedrick Pickering, said he wants fisher folk to recognize their worth to the territory and the importance of the industry that is ingrained so deeply in the history and culture of the BVI. For JTV News, I'm Sean Rose.